I'm in trouble. My tent has snapped. I used, I did have a, like a cheap tent pole repair thing uh, that I used to kind of prop the tent back up. But I don't know how much longer it's gonna last. This is pretty gnarly. I'm kind of just holding on to it for dear life. So here we are. This is not the highest lake in Idaho. This is Lake 10,148. It's called 10,148 because that's its elevation and it doesn't have a name. Who's in charge of naming these lakes? Burkhalter? Like, Surprise Lake. It's the lake that sits right above Surprise Valley, and there's no Surprise Lake. I feel like whoever's in charge of naming things out here really missed that one. I mean, why can't I name it? I name this lake Surprise Lake. This is the Chalice Salmon National Forest and the Pioneer Mountains, a lesser known recreation area out of Sun Valley. But holy cow, is this area beautiful. It was not the easiest to get here. It's, it's quite the climb. I'm gonna end up doing a loop on this trip. It'll be between 18 and 24 miles, depending on how many side trips I take, and I will gain 7,200 feet in elevation. So there's some steady climbing. And to make this a loop, I'm gonna have to do, climb some pretty sketchy, sketchy peaks, it looks like. I guess the technical name for this loop is the Fall Creek Loop. I did six miles today from the Fall Creek Trailhead. That's, that's kind of why they call it the Fall Creek Loop, go figure. The trailhead's at 7,200 feet, so, I mean, I climbed a good 3,000 feet today. This is still not the highest lake that I'm gonna get to on this trip. This is actually the first of three lakes I'm gonna hit, and this one is the lowest one. So there are two more lakes up over this saddle that I'm looking at right now, Betty Lake and Goat Lake that I'm gonna check out tomorrow. I hear there's some good fishing in them. I just got to this one. I will definitely take a look and give you a fishing report. I haven't seen too much in terms of jumping fish, but it's still early and I've only been here for a minute, so. God, I'm super pumped. I'm gonna be honest for a second. Uh, like, I don't know, I was just, I've been, I was feeling down about this whole YouTube thing and, and why dragging this camera around. And so far this trip has just really like put that extra jolt in my battery, so to speak. I'm just, I'm pumped. But all right, it's five o'clock. I better get camp set up, go for a swim. Uh, See if there's any fishing and take her easy in Surprise Valley at Lake 10,148. I tried a little fishing last night, but I mean, there was nothing. And I haven't seen a fish jump in this lake all morning either, so. Hopefully we'll have more success at these two higher lakes. Betty Lake, and this is still 
not the highest lake in Idaho. But it's, it's up there. This is at 10,000. The saddle that I went over this morning is 11,500 feet. The biggest peak in this basin is right behind me. You saw it at the other lake too. This is Stanhope Peak. It's at 11,878 feet. And then this other peak over here is at 11,825 feet. And my plan is to scramble up over that 11,800 foot peak down into another valley on the other side and get out tomorrow that way. You will know pretty quickly if there are fish in these mountain lakes and there is fish in this lake. It's like firecrackers, it always is. It's just, oh, there was one right behind me. I don't even know if I caught that, but they're just rising um, one after the other. Oh, there's another one. Oh, right there. <laughs> I hope I got that. But I'm not gonna stop here. The highest lake in Idaho is just over here. I could see it on my way down. I was under the impression looking at down in this valley that this was goat, this little lake right here. And uh, I just ran into some people. I have no idea where they came from. They were like, I don't, we, that one's not goat. Goat is huge and it's, it's above that. And sure enough, I checked my Garmin and my coordinates and uh, this is not goat. I have a whole nother climb through over a saddle to get to it, so. Uh. I believe this is a golden trout. A beautiful fish. Really good size. Oh yeah. What's up, buddy? Oh. Oh. You, are you tangled? Where is it? Okay. Well, it started to rain. Fortunately, it's not coming down too hard <laughs> as soon as I say that. Uh, it starts really coming down. This is Chris. He, he just showed up from Washington. He's trying out a new fly rod. Must have had a golden. This, oh yeah, they'll be gold if they're gold. There's a little golden too. Oh man, what a beautiful fish. Oh dude. Beautiful. 
Beautiful cutthroat. Oh, he's so tired. I should really get him. Thank you, sir. It's been a pleasure. Oh my god, this is the longest night of my life. Um, basically, you can see I have the backpack in here. I basically have all the stuff in here, and I'm just using it to brace against where the wind is coming from. And hopefully, that combined with the splint is enough to keep me safe for one more night. It's four o'clock in the morning. The temple just snapped again in the same spot. <laughs> Right above the splint. I'm deciding to take a different approach. I am somewhat letting the tent collapse on me. I just don't think standing straight up is the way to go now, so. My shelter's collapsed, I didn't get a wink of sleep. I think it's six in the morning. Chris, you okay? Yeah. A little windy last night. Just take your rain fly off, idiot. Probably out of fear, I was just like, you know, let's try to secure this whole setup more and more. And I put guidelines out and everything. And really, I needed to kind of let go, almost deconstruct the tent and sleep without one. It doesn't always go as planned. Spend enough time out here and you'll find your limit. Push your comfort zone. But maybe that's what you needed all along. Want to see another cool fishing story? Check out this short film I made about how fishing can change lives and bring people together. Join me for the live stream Wednesday evening where I'll dive deeper into this adventure. Link in the description Where'd below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. You know, I never met this guy before. Good looking out, Chris.